Hello and welcome to the EduBoard EduTouch interactive display presentation. My name is Derek Underwood, Managing Director and Co-Founder of EduBoard and I'm really, really excited to be able to present this product to you today, our flagship product. This is a 65 inch 4K 20 touch panel and uh, we have 55 inches, 75 inches and 86 panels as well. It's our own manufacture and development. We support the product fully locally in South Africa with spare parts, repairs and servicing. Failure rates are extremely low and they come with a standard three year warranty upgradable to five years. Not only that, the product itself is built of top quality materials, slimline bezel with rounded corners, but very importantly, it's four millimeter thick toughened glass. Now if you do that to a normal 65 inch TV, I guarantee you it's going to break. Whereas this is designed for a long life, as I said, that three to five year warranty is, is included. Um, but certainly designed to last with a 30 to 50,000 hour LED lamp life, which will give you many, many years of good service. So on the hardware side, uh, we can have different inputs that will plug in to the panel itself. We have a built-in PC module, a built-in Android system, and we can plug in several other peripherals such as laptops, DSTV decoders, etc. Now, I'm going to show you first off uh, on the Android system and then show you a couple of those other inputs uh, as we go along. The Android system is a basic Android system, allow you to do some pretty cool things without having to need uh, a, a built-in PC or a laptop, for example. But you can have certain functions like uh, drawing and taking notes and things. I just want to show you the uh, smoothness and speed and accuracy of the unit. We've also, as I mentioned earlier, we've got a full 10 touch or 10 writing experience with 20 touch points. We also have two pens that are included, thick and a thin nib. Reason being is the thick nib you can program to write in a certain color and thickness and the thinner nib could be programmed to write in any other color and a different thickness. These can be used simultaneously to give their different colors and thicknesses. Magnetic pen holders for easy, and, uh, easy uh, access and use and uh, also remote control that comes with the unit which you can change your inputs, blank the screen and uh, switch the panel on and off. All right, if we, uh, so there's many different features that we have with the system, but I'm gonna go back to the uh, home screen and just show you simple other things. You've got a built-in browser in the Android system, so it'll take you instantly to whatever program that you've put into or tab that you've got here. Go and search on uh, Google. And uh, you've also got a finder, which is, is a document finder. If you happen to have your PDFs or videos or p uh, pictures, for example, photographs on a flash drive, you simply plug them in to one of the USB ports either in the front or at the back, which are many extra ports at the back. And the system will detect those, place it here, and you'll be able to go and access them and open up your PDF documents, your Word documents, photographs and videos. All will be played natively in the system. Also built in is a 24 watt powerful speakers. So no need to get any extra sound bars, for example, all built in. Um, the only thing you might want to add if you're going to be doing things like video conferencing, which I'll, I'll maybe give you a demonstration just now, is a webcam, which you could just pop up top or at the bottom or place wherever is convenient for you to capture your video. All right, so I'm going to jump over now to the PC module, the built-in PC module. This is an optional extra. It's basically a full-on PC that you can plug in the back of the uh, panel and this will give you a full Windows computer experience. So this current one is an i5, uh, 128 gig SSD drive, and um, basically everything you would normally have on your laptop, your PC, you'll be able to have with the built-in unit here. So you can use any of your current uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint uh, documents. Let's just, for example, go and open up a 
a Word document and uh, everything that you used to and performing would be able to be done here. For example, if we go into the draw program, you can simply select your, your pens and make notes. You could change the colors to uh, red, for example, and again, highlighting things and making various annotations. These can all be saved within Word as you would normally do. So really what I'm demonstrating here is the ability to uh, be able to use your touch experience, which is a lot more intuitive these days with all our devices, and be able to present that to your audience from the board up front. All right, so with Word, you're probably familiar is that you can uh, split words, you can join words together. Let's take two words and uh, join them there. We can uh, insert another word and have handwriting to text recognition, and that will pop it into your document. So these are all uh, commonly available uh, word processing things within Microsoft Word. All right, uh, for example, we can also open up a PowerPoint or an Excel document. Let's have a look at that first. Um, open up a blank workbook. And again, familiar interface that you can work with. The difference is working with your fingers or the touch experience. You're able to do things very quickly and, and intuitively. Uh, you might want to be highlighting things. You could uh, also insert things in as you click in a cell. Uh, you can then, the keyboard pops up and you can then uh, insert things. So all your commonly available function features of Microsoft Excel. PowerPoint, similarly again, um, let's actually close that. I'm going to open up this one rather. So. All right, this is a prepared PowerPoint presentation. Um, let's actually just start it right now from the beginning. And the nice thing with this again is you can simply just swipe to change your slides backwards and forwards, very convenient, and you still have access to all the Microsoft PowerPoint tools on the left, such as annotations and uh, captions. All right, uh, another feature I found very, very useful was the closed captioning. It records the audio and translates it for people that are hard of hearing. And this can make your product and presentation far more appealing and uh, also acceptable to various members of the audience. So you notice as I'm speaking, it's taking uh, my voice text, into uh, converting it into text. And you may find that feature quite useful that's uh, built in to Microsoft PowerPoint. All right, let's just end that show and close that. Um, I'll come back to that in a moment. So Microsoft Office documents are all compatible with the system. I'm going to open up a, another program called Connect. Now, we supply three different softwares in terms of the, the panel that will come included with, uh, with your Windows uh, system. Uh, one of them is called Connect. Now, with Connect, you can literally connect your mobile device, be it an Android or an iOS system. And I'm just going to quickly connect the system. All right. And here it says I'm now connected. I'm just going to minimize that. And I will be able to take photographs, for example. Let's take a photo of the... All right. I've just taken a photo and I've now uploaded it to the PC. So you can use this almost as a, a visualizer. If I take another one, so I'm going to take one down there of my PC's keyboard, or my laptop's keyboard rather, and I upload that and instantly that appears within the panel. So from my phone wirelessly to the panel, we now can share various information. So between your different slides, you can then present the thing. I could also choose to annotate on that particular photograph from my phone wirelessly. So as I draw in here, changing colors to yellow and changing colors to blue, 
uh, it will appear on the screen live. So a great way for a very interactive presentation and engaging one between yourself and your audience wirelessly. All right, there's many other features that we could do here. Um, we have another program called Capture, which is really a screen recording uh, software that allow you to record your whole presentation, including your screen movements and uh, anything that you do on your screen, as well as your audio, as well as if you have a video camera, we'll put them all together, create a video which you can then share with your audience at a later date to upload it to uh, Google Drive or um, OneDrive, for example. All right, so many, many different options to be uh, capable of done. Uh, I'm just going to show you this one for fun, again, to demonstrate the, the 20 touch and the built-in speakers. You can instantly access your speaker volume. So I'm just going to turn this up for, for this particular demo. So one touch. All right, so you can have a lot of fun with, uh, with various different programs on these different panels. But in a nutshell, I think that covers the, the bulk of the basics of the system for you just to get a, a feel of what can be done. Um, perhaps I could show you one other thing quickly. Uh, if you're doing a video conferencing session, um, as I mentioned earlier, all you would need to do is, is add a webcam. I've put one just to the side of the panel over here and I'll be presenting this to my audience um, and uh, doing a, a live video conference to a remote location. So that's just using Zoom, but it's compatible with Microsoft Teams or Skype for Business, for example. All of them are fully, fully compatible with our system. So I hope you've enjoyed the, the presentation and um, I look forward to Hearing further back from you, please give us a call or visit our website www.eduboard.co.za and uh, we'll be glad to assist your needs further and consult for you on any needs that you may have further. Thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.